like a queen. Happy holidays and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you all how I achieved my successful twist out. A lot of naturalistas assume that this is the simplest and easiest hairstyle to achieve. But if you don't have the right technique, this can easily become a fail. But I'm not gonna wrap y'all up, so let's get started. Now this video is simply a twist out tutorial. I won't be showing you exactly what I use as product wise. You can use your favorite products, but I will list them down below in the description box. Now my hair is freshly washed and 85% dry and I stretch my hair using the banding method. I'm going to first go in with a leave-in conditioner and I spray that all around and you can see me fingering that in trying to get it through all my strands and then using one of my favorite um, styling uh, or twisting butters and applying that evenly. And once I apply those two, I'm just going to, to detangle my hair. Making sure your hair is fully detangled is a very important step to getting a bomb twist out. Now when starting to twist your hair, you wanna make sure two sections, the two sections that you're twisting are evenly proportioned because that's what give, gives you that defined coil and that great look. And as you twist down, make sure you just keep detangling your ends so that you won't share any uh, strands and that causes frizz when separating. Now I tried to slow down my twist process, but as you can see, I'm not just twisting those two sections together. I'm double twisting. So I'm twisting the two sections individually and then twisting them around each other. That's what, that's what gives you that coily curl definition. And then if you can't, like me, twist all the way down to the very, very end, just coil that small little part around your finger and let it have its own natural coil and that will seal that twist off. So I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit and if you feel like you need a little bit more help, feel free to rewind and go back and um, look at what, how I'm twisting my hair slowly. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a twist out tutorial, so I won't be really talking about the products that I use, but they will be listed in the description box below. So these are medium chunky twists and I like doing them this size because they're fast to put in and they're a little bit easier than doing the smaller ones and then when they dry, ta-da! The takedown process and the separating process is a lot easier. So I'm going to add a curl shine but you can add oil to your hands and the oil basically helps with um, alleviating frizz while you're taking your hair, your hair down. Now, believe it or not, the takedown process is a very important step too. And you have to be careful and 
go slow with taking your hair down because the last thing you want is a frizzy frizzy twist out oh and making sure your hair is dry also is a very important part because uh, a damp twist out is basically an afro I'm, I'm not lying it's basically just an afro so you see the technique that I used to twist my hair gave me great definition um, it looks like mini curls and as I start to separate you'll start to get that fullness of a twist out um, even though they're chunky twists I know some people like to pull on their um, definition strands to see if they separate naturally, but I have really, really thick coarse hair, so my hair doesn't really give me any break breakthroughs, I guess, or breakaways, so I have to create my own. So if your hair is like that, it is okay, but you have to pull them apart slowly. And right here, I'm just going to lay my edges down, giving that sleek and finished look using my favorite edge control, Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco, Extra Ho, baby. The Extra Ho. And this is the finished look, that super defined, super cute, and successful twist out. This is a great look for the holidays. It's super easy once you figure out the technique and once you get it down pat, then you will typically never fail on your twist outs. Y'all see me throwing my reindeer antlers on because I, I'm in the Christmas spirit, I'm in the holiday mood, and I just had to. Listen, Rudolph ain't got nothing on your girl, okay? But this is the finished look. And if you like this video and you found it very helpful and informative, leave me a comment below. Um, if you really like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, and also share. And please subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you later, girlfriends.